Hello and welcome to Vod of Consciousness with CNT here. It's CNT here and welcome to Fury 3. I thought maybe I wouldn't be playing this today, but I am. Uh, so we're going to continue a new Croy. Um, let me get my mouse cursor off the screen. So I actually really quite like this world. As you might notice, it is a very different feel. Uh, if I can remember my controls. Than other ones, because you have all of these very large building structures. Is the right direction? No. It's this way? Yeah. Um, and so it gives it a very different type of feel because it's a city. That, that's how that works. So, um, ooh, more loot. One can never have enough loot. Let's see. These are my roll buttons. Okay. So I need to go destroy a target somewhere. Uh, looks like there's some tanks down there. I'm not going to worry about them, though. So this world, uh, just to bring you back up to speed, was captured by the Bions uh, and is now a Bion planet. This is where you can really start getting dispersion cannons, by the way. Because these turrets, uh, as you can see, fire dispersion cannons and can drop them. Uh, and do so with some regularity, it would appear. I don't know what damage we might theoretically be causing to the world around us, but whatever. Now, if you remember, those ships uh, split up when you hit them. I don't know why I'm using servokinetic lasers. Here we are. They actually hit really hard. Okay, let's just go ahead and switch to my raffles. My, my rapid fire laser 20s. I don't know why the 20 where the 20 comes from. I'm being being honest about that. Um Okay, so I need to blow up stuff. These are Bion's now or whatever. They're I don't Buy on advertising. I guess. No, you're not going to get me turrets. Yeah, this is a spot where you really can start getting dispersion cannons. I like their purple lasers. Okay, where are you coming from? Ooh, loot. Okay, um, feels good to be playing this game again. All of my, what's the accelerator? I just thought I had the turbo button type uh, antics. I don't know, do I need to blow these up? Is this my target? I'm not sure if this is my target. Okay, that was my target. Cool. Take out some of these communication arrays. Ha! A few shields. Uh, looks like there's some stuff down this way. Probably more tanks. I do really like the feel of this kind of foggy city and stuff. I think I've mentioned that a couple of times now, but it nonetheless remains accurate. Ooh, loot box. More turbo. Always want to have plenty of turbo. Never want to run out of turbo. We ran out of turbo once and it was awful. I still don't know what the purpose of these missiles are. I don't feel like they're any noticeably better than the lasers. It's one of those things that's interesting about these sorts of games, actually. While I'm here, I might as well talk about it. It's like weapon design right you can see what that felt like to take out those things with the missiles and then these lasers are, now granted they'd already taken a bunch of damage but those lasers kind of uh, basically I don't I, I can't tell if the um, what advantage specifically the missiles have 
Especially with how many rapid fire laser charges you get. Oh wow, my shields were way lower than I realized. Good thing I had a bunch of shield boosts to pick up. So it's one of those things where, like, the dead on missiles, just trying to figure out why they're in the game. Like, they're supposed to serve some purpose, right? And just trying to figure out what it is. Like, Vipers and Bionic 3 missiles are obvious. They're seeking missiles of various powers, but I don't know. So either either with the sort of game you can make um, a unit useful just through plentifulness. Like part of what makes a rapid fire lasers or any of the lasers useful is their infinite ammo and the rapid fire lasers in particular. Uh, they give you a lot of ammo for. Whereas like the dead on missiles don't get that much ammo, and it's a little unclear how much damage they actually do. So like if I focus on this. Okay, those things are down. Now, if I just throw missiles at this, this that doesn't feel any appreciably different in speed. See what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, what is the specific advantage that these missiles have? I don't know. It's just something to think about from a game design perspective. Uh, is when you add something to the game, it's useful to know what it's there for or what purpose it will serve. It's like the dispersion cannon, right? It's like, okay, this is in here, but what am I doing with it? Ah, too far away to be accurate. This game is technically being upscaled from, like, potato resolution to, you know, what you're seeing here. Okay, so we're ready to go to the... Jump zone. Um, I might as well grab that while I'm here. Any obvious things around here? Whoop. Let's get rid of this billboard. Yeah. Okay, next mission. Um, num, 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 num. But something like um, you can make the player rely on a less good weapon by giving them lots of ammo for it. Uh, and giving them very, giving them less ammo for better weapons and things like that. Um, but when you do that sort of thing, you have to be careful because players will tend to de go towards like the weapon that feels like the optimal amount of like available ammo and damage and stuff like that. And you don't want to accidentally set your players up to be using a very subpar weapon um, that makes their experience worse. All right, you see what I'm saying? Because you can um, accidentally trick your players into having a worse experience because they're not using the weapons that you intended for them to use. Oh, those guys dropped turbo. That's cool. Um, so that's something that you have to be aware of. I want to take out these blue fighters before they launch. I don't know if they do or not, but just in case. That guy had some interesting uh, not crashing when he's not on fire code. Just kind of hit it around the building there. So kind of what I'm saying is I would feel like I would expect the purpose of dead on missiles to be single target or single non-moving target damage. So I'd expect them to be especially good at taking care of things like those new Croy buildings or probably whatever they are. Um, that's the button I was looking for. Uh, but I don't feel like they are. So it's just a little confusing. And as you can see, I continue to get vast quantities of rapid fire lasers from uh, these tanks and things. Wow. Talk about a loot bonanza.
Doing okay on shields, but these guys drop don't drop them. They drop turbos and stuff. Uh, I'm blowing these up because they're here, and I don't want them to be. I do appreciate that this doesn't. This planet uses a completely new batch of uh, enemies, though. Let's see. Gonna take out these things right here. Uh, I don't even know if those are the targets I was supposed to blow up. Some more dino missiles. Uh, where am I going? Over here? Ow. Okay, I think I'm supposed to take these out. The other thing, actually, that you want to do is if specific types of weapons are supposed to be good against specific types of targets, you want to call it out to the player in some way. Um, how exactly you do that can be varied. You can use things like specific sound effects. Um, uh, but, like, if, if you're not cluing the player in that something is not being effective against an enemy, they may not realize it. Uh, unless they have reason to try out different weaponry or different tactics. So it's just kind of important to make sure that you give the player good feedback. Um, oh, those look special. I bet I go that direction next. Oh, I'm just supposed to jump to the fly zone, eh? Well, I want to look at this cool... These cool golden things. I don't know. I can probably blow these up. It probably will take a lot. Oh, didn't take much at all. Um, certainly getting some rendering errors. I don't. I don't know. I'm blowing these up because they're here and they're all glowy and stuff. And I wanted to. Field boost is nice. Okay. Um. I'm just kind of fighting fighters now. Okay, I can I can leave. I'm I'm allowed to leave. Uh, looks like there's some enemies down there, but nothing major. Ooh, looks like we had some weird gimbal lock issues. Let's go on to the next section of this world. Man, that certainly looks better as native resolution, I betcha. Okay. Mission 3 of New Croy. Ah, they started off with some fighters coming at us. Uh, I'm not immediately seeing anything that screams pretty bag. Checkpoint. Checkpoints are not common. Man, I would love, like, a modern version of this. Oh, by the way, we can go up this above the clouds to the stars. This is actually pretty solid in terms of laying down cover fire. Oh, and I have a ton of it now, too. Only getting more. Not sure how much one thing has. But these guys drop a lot. That's the other thing, actually, that you can do is vary up uh, what sorts of drops are in your levels and what frequency to make certain levels favor specific weapons over others. Um, and that can make the player experiment around with uh, stuff as well, which can be desirable. So one of the things that you're seeing here is I'm getting a ton of rapid fire lasers. That's not encouraging me to experiment with different weaponry. Whereas the additional dispersion cannon is encouraging me to make use of that more. 
And one of the things I'm seeing is it does seem to do pretty well against a lot of these ships and stuff. Because it lays, it has a fast rate of fire and the spread uh, works quite well. That doesn't seem particularly advantageous against these. These feel like they take one damage from everything and then you hit them with four lasers so they die faster or something. Man, there are a lot of security ships here. Um, that's just a tank. I want to go this way. Through shield boost. Um, what's my objective right now? Enter tunnel. Okay. I want to blow these things up because they do have a good chance of dropping dispersion cannon. And that sounds good to me. There's the tunnel I need to enter. I just like the idea of collecting a lot more dispersion cannons. Yeah, I'm glad this game does not track accuracy. My accuracy would be very bad. Oh, I should grab these. So many shields. Into the tunnel. Uh, does this tunnel have anything besides wall obstacles in it? Or is it just wall obstacles? I mean, I don't mind it being mostly wall obstacles, but... Okay, looks like it's mostly wall wall obstacles. Need to blow up this thing. Start by taking out these shield generators, like always. The boss formula is pretty straightforward uh, in this game. It's just take out these shoot boss. Okay. Okay, um... Okay, so I'm going to try... Uh, how do these feel? These don't feel appreciably better than rapid fire lasers. Like, if you look at the rate that the health bar goes down, this goes down faster. Um, I think I need to shoot inside the thing, though. I'm not entirely sure. Ah, whatever. I blew it up. That's what matters. Um, as a reminder, I am playing on the easiest difficulty, so if the game seems easy, there are harder difficulties available. Um, this is fun. Ah, that's the immediate exit from this, uh, from this level. Alrighty. Uh, we got all our tunnels. There we are leaving New Croy. Hot oh, diggity. Is that Planet 4? I don't remember. We're on Sebek Mission 1, if you did not catch that. Okay, let's see what Sebek is all about. Planet, Sebek, Mission, Death Onk. Okay. According to ancient Sebekian scriptures, the Death Onk grants its possessor immortality, because that's what a Death Onk would do. Seize it before the Bions do. You don't want an enemy that you can't kill. Intelligence report follows. Do you like Egypt? Uh, Sebekian sail ships accompany all river barges. These ships are the communications link between air and ground forces. Uh, 
Pandanian hovercraft act as puddle jumpers between encampments. Tiger fighters are fierce and fastidious. Beware. Scarab fighters protect caravans and ward off intruders like you. I do think this is a really cool design for a ship, by the way. Okay. And with that, uh, we bring this episode to a close. So uh, until next time, everyone, take care. Goodbye.